Hi, I'm Chloe from Britain Co. And I first off loved this movie. Congratulations. Oh, and I'm so excited to talk to both of you because every time I watch a movie, I love thinking about it from both an actor and a writer's perspective. And so I would love to hear from both of you if there was a scene that you were most excited to bring to life from the book. And if you could kind of talk about your favorite part about bringing it to life since you were on almost like opposite ends of the process. Yeah, you want to start that? Yeah, I actually was super excited for the scenes that Brandon was in, mainly because a couple of them were my favorite scenes from the book, and so I was hoping they would make it into the film. And when they did, I, I was just so stoked because I knew that the readers wanted to see those scenes. And one of them was when your character came back to the flower shop to apologize for the fight. Yeah. I love that whole scene, and I thought you nailed it. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's my favorite scene in the movie. Um, and that was my favorite scene to shoot as well. Um, it just has like a there's a there's like a frequency that that scene has that I think is like representative of like it's the Lily and Atlas scene for me in terms yeah. of their dynamic. And there's so much that's not being said that they're communicating non verbally. And you could just like the sort of struggle and the like the longing and the regret and like this like you know like yeah. acknowledging it without acknowledging it a lot yeah. of quiet emotion yeah. in that scene for sure yeah it's a beautiful scene all right nina hi i'm nina from looper uh, it's really nice to chat with you both I really love the movie got to see it on thursday um so I have two very small questions. Um, Colleen, what was a scene that, kind of following up on Brandon's answer to the last question, that really blew you away when you saw it uh, come to life on screen? And then for Brandon, um, you play a chef in this film. Uh, how did you connect to the character? Did you do any cooking to you know, get into Atlas's head or anything like that? <laughs> I think um, the scene that really blew me away was the fight scene, like that, like the emotions in that and like, um, yeah, I feel like they really brought that scene to life from the book. And, um, I just, every time I watch it, I've seen it so many times. I hold my breath every time. Yeah, that came out really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the first thing I saw. Um, in terms of ha ha prep for Atlas, no, to be honest with you, I did not. Uh, I mean, I make a pretty mean shrimp scampi. Um, <laughs> uh, and I can grill pretty damn well, um, over a campfire. Um, but no, I didn't. I mean, it wasn't actually super relevant. I know that's probably like a faux pas from an acting standpoint or whatever, but it's just not that applicable. Yeah, you um, didn't do a lot of cooking in the... Yeah, no, like, so. I mean, I've, I've seen so, chefs Was table. there something that you yeah. connected to with Atlas besides that then? I mean, everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a big reason I'm sitting here on the couch is um, I just... Uh, you know, our, our, like, our frequencies are so aligned, like our internal lives are so aligned and we sort of have the same moral compass and the same like protector quality. Um, yeah, I just, I immediately identify with that and relate to that. Um, just over like people you love, there's, um, like a responsibility you feel yeah. to, to be there for them. Yeah. Thank you both so much. Yeah. All right, back to Chloe. Awesome. Yeah, um, kind of piggybacking off of that answer, I'd love to know what um, is one thing that you think you both have learned from Atlas. He is one of my favorite characters in the book, if not my favorite character. Um, and I really respect his dependability is one thing that I really love. Um, is there anything from writing or playing him that you feel like you've taken from him? Well, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I just think his kindness and always, you know, thinking back to the people that helped him along the way. You know, he faced struggles just like Ryle did, but he kind of turned those struggles around for himself in a positive way. Um, so I definitely think that's something that um, is, is something that could be role model for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting because in, in playing him, I kind of like just had to show up and um, just amplify those parts of myself, you know, 
and I didn't yeah. really like think I was playing a character at all. It's probably like the least like charactery work I've ever done. I'm just pretty much myself. Um, I didn't consider a character, um, which again sounds like sacrilege from an acting standpoint, but I thought it was the best way to service the story. And in doing so, really just was like uh, to him, have him as a character be so appreciated for those characteristics and then therefore myself sort of appreciating those characteristics in myself. I feel mm -hmm. like throughout the process, I've just carried that into my personal life and I feel like genuinely feel like it's just like made me a better dude in a lot of ways. Just I support, sort of putting those characteristics on display and then having them be so like appreciated by so many people. It feels deeply personal, if that makes sense. You know, it's it's nice um, to sort of really acknowledge those things and, and, and have it feel easy and effortless in that sense. And, you know, you're not muscling anything, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. All right. And we have time for one last question. So, Nina? Uh, just very briefly, obviously, Justin Baldoni pulled double duty with this movie. Um, so both as the original author and as an actor, I was hoping that the two of you could speak to what it was like to watch him bring Ryle to life for you, Colleen, and to work with him, um, Brandon, as, you know, his rival in this film. Well, that's a good one. Um, I thought that everyone did such a phenomenal job, like both with, you know, like you said, he owns the film rights and then directed it and, and plays Ryle. Like that's a lot of roles and a lot of hats to wear. But um, yeah, I mean, I think that um, as far as his job as Ryle, I thought he did such a wonderful job portraying that character and um, found his and um, Lily's chemistry on screen to be so great. And um, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, I mean, it's it's t it's tough to, to, to have to play, you know, that character that specifically yeah. that character is a very difficult character to play and then also to direct it so watching him sort of in our limited interaction and scenes together um yeah it was it was it was really cool to see him juggle that and how he was able to go in and out of like putting on the director hat and then being ryle and then having to divorce himself from you know seeing maybe Lily and Atlas have a bunch of chemistry and having to take himself out of being Ryle and being the director. And I was like, man, that must be such a head trip to have to be like, wait, why are they having such a nice time together? I don't want them to have a nice time together because <laughs> Ryle wouldn't want that. But obviously as, as the director, you want that because that chemistry is everything. So it was really interesting to um, see how he was able to pull that off. Cause it's hard yeah, to do. Yeah. Really. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you all.